Hey there, let's just jump right in. Join me by downloading the free school planner that I have linked down in the description. Go ahead and skip to the prep and organize section if you are wanting just to get to the principles and kind of fit and kind of see how I've organized everything so far. Um, but first, we need to plan and schedule. Let's start with our master plan. Now this is going to be just the big picture. What do you want to teach your child this year? Don't put down any specifics, just put down some major goals or benchmarks right along the bullet points. Just make sure that you have one for each kid. Now that we kind of have an idea on what we're going to teach, we need to figure out when we will be teaching them. Take the annual schedule and mark off any days off, so holidays, birthdays. And then we also have our weekly schedule, and this is going to be where you figure out which days during the week that you will be teaching. We're gonna do four days, and then the daily schedule, pretty self-explanatory. And this is the part where we really have to be honest with ourselves. If we wanna be successful, we have to be realistic. So now we get to move into our year overview broken down into quarters. And this is the space we're going to be able to put in some checkpoints to follow our master plan. Um, so any obvious like holidays or seasonal crafts that you wanna include um, or you know projects, put them in now in your quarters and then fill in the other checkpoints for your master plan. Um, this is where a scope and sequence can really come in handy. So you can find these online. You can also just create your own. Um, they help. This will take a little bit of time, but it is definitely worth it in the end. So let's go ahead and flip to the quarterly planner now. We're going to copy over your annual schedule into your quarterly page. And this is gonna help us break down our checkpoints into more manageable chunks. Here you are going to see a theme option for the younger grades, and then there's the core subjects. So we have reading, grammar, math, social studies, and science. And then you just need to fill in the blanks. The next page has your supply list. And I left this, I left a spot for a parent prepared curriculum. This is any extracurriculars. And I did make this specifically for ESA. Flip this page over and then we are into the monthlies. Plug in all your days off and organize your course subjects using the corresponding weeks here. And then just fill in any field trips that you might wanna take, books that you wanna read for the month, um, any sensory table ideas, and of course, arts and crafts. These monthlies are divided by each quarter. What I really like about my little planner is that you can fill in all the information that you need, but it's still yeah. flexible. Dirty. It is dirty. Oh boy. Dirty. Mm. dirty. All the dates are left blank purposefully. You can use this for any year. You don't have to get a new one every single year because dates change. And you can use your curriculum. You just fill it in your scope and sequence, or you can just write down that that book that you're following that curriculum pace, that self-paced curriculum. So here we have English. We are starting with the letters and crafts where you embed images into the letters. Also have a repetition alphabet flipbook. letter flashcards. Here's a game where you cover up the initial sound of each word. We have a race to the pond game that you can write in your own letters. We have tons more games, rhyming games, and these are double-sided. Initial sound games, and I have 
quite a bit of those. And they are double sided. We have this one that I made for my son. We have some letter worksheets. We like worksheets. So we use them for working on pronunciation. So we have the letter, the embedded image, and then we have what the mouth form should be as you're saying each word. We have these reading comprehension pages worksheets. These, you sound them out nice and long. It helps you hear every single sound that's in it. We can use it for our phonics as well as spelling. Over here, we're going to be using um, these readers. They are free printable readers. It goes from easy, easy, and there is, and they get more difficult as you go along. This is the fast and fluent. Very fun. We are going to be doing this buddy spelling game. It's very open. You can write yourself. You can do, if you're doing spelling words, you can write them there. And this is where they write in their answer. We also have a C and spell for CBC words. Over here is finding where in the word each sound is. And over here we will be practicing our penmanship. For math, we have one-to-one -one correspondence cards. Um, don't forget that shapes and patterns are also part of math for preschool. We have numbers, strips for counting. Uh, we've got zero through 20, two each, so we're playing lots of games. We're going to become very familiar with these numbers. Here's a customizable game to play. We have a counting bubble mat, number reference, one through 100. We have our math mission game. You can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, everything. And then we are going to be playing with cards. Our 10 frames with our little uh, hundreds and 10 sticks over there. And then I'm not sure if we're going to be getting to the money. Um, I did make a mat for it, so we'll see um, if we get there. I don't know if you noticed, but I have a ton of the Measures Mom principles. And the reason is because she's awesome. Um, she, I followed her scope and sequence, and that is what really got my son learning to read. Um, she has a lot of really fantastic well thought out uh, principles to use for reading, I would highly recommend going over to her website, checking her out. So now, how are we gonna organize all of this? Still deciding. I'm sure I'm going to be reorganizing as we go. And this is just to get us started. Um, you know, throughout the year, I'm sure we're going to be adding, um, you know, just how it is. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a preschool and a kindergarten. Monday and Tuesday is social studies and art, and then we have Thursday and Friday are science and Bible. So I'm going to make a Monday, Tuesday bin and a Thursday, Friday bin. I need to go print up some more papers. Mm. 
I decided to go with these caddies for this year. I filled them all up with the basics. And if you have multiple children, then one each is a must. Fill up my teacher toolkit. And here we have our homeschool for kindergarten and preschool. It took a bit of work lots of time to find and make print laminate everything but i will definitely thank myself later in the year that i was able to get everything organized and planned everything out i hope that you remember to keep it simple enjoy the learning and most of all have fun